Trooper Moting is back into the squad. And on top of that, Hulk has accepted his contract offer. And yes, he is joining Schalke. If you need coins, go ahead and use the code in the description below. It is Johnny for FIFA Coin Zone. And also, if you want to play for some real money, go ahead and click the link for GamerSaloon.com and sign up. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Schalke career mode. And boys, this is the transfer deadline day episode, so we will have one more transfer in this one, and let's see who will join in. A lot of people have said, please sell Draxler now that he's gone to Wolfsburg, and I like to do this whenever something happens to the team that I have going on on YouTube. I like to go ahead and just replicate some of the transfers, not all of them, but some of them. And we have to say, let's be 100% honest, did Draxler at any point in this career mode really perform out of this world? Could have any player been lower rated than him could have done the same? I mean, I really don't know. I really feel like Draxler never has really performed well for us. It might be that I'm playing him in the wrong position, but in the center attacking midfield position, we have Teixeira, and uh, there's just no way that Teixeira is not playing in the team. So Draxler had to move over to the left midfield position, which is his normal position, but he just never really performed so well for me and now I'm going for some players like Shakiri, uh, Shurle, Eremenko by the way, a guy that I've never tried out and I was kind of curious if this guy was any good. Right around the end of FIFA 15 I like to try out some players I've never tried out and also I wanted to go for Denis Sheryshev. I had him in Twitch uh, or not in Twitch, on the Twitch career mode with Villarreal and I actually really enjoyed him but he had to go over to Real Madrid at the end of his loan spell but there's a question for you guys if you could smash 1000 likes i will upload another video today so drop a like right now and hopefully later on we will see another episode of the schalke career mode and uh, we'll see what happens right after the transfer window Currently, we have to play in the Bundesliga and it is against Bayer Leverkusen, a team that I truly do respect in the Bundesliga. I feel like they are playing more of a pacey way of football, trying to get their wingers involved, trying to cross it into Kiesling in the middle, who never really was a fast striker to dribble around defenders. He's, he has always been a striker to just stay there and uh, wait for the balls to come to him, for him to be able to take the shots. But this is also the first First game of Hulk. Hulk is now crossing it in and it will be a header and then it's Teixeira trying to get to it uh, properly but sadly no one is able to get that shot on target. Not powerful enough in the end. Hulk again with the pass to Teixeira. In the end he gets it back, cross it in to Griezmann. The small striker is able to head it in in the 30th minute after the cross of Hulk. First game, first assist, and Griezmann, like always, is just not stopping scoring goals left and right. It's just not working for any team to just go ahead and stop him. It's just incredible, honestly, and Hulk definitely took over in this game every single chance that I had so far. He did have a part in that and this free kick was actually quite dangerous. Then we had another one, but as you guys might know, I'm not too good taking free kicks with left-footed players. With right-footed players, I'm actually quite decent, but with left-footed players, I'm just not able to get that ball in. It's somehow a weird thing in my head and I decided to take some long shots with Hulk and every single time I took them, the goalkeeper was just not able to hold on to it and that's something I love because I have pacey strikers who are just waiting for the goalkeeper to drop the ball in front of them and then take advantage of that. But this is exactly what I talked about. Kiesling gets the pass, first touch finish and it's the equalizer. So at this point I was really disappointed because I felt like I was dominating this game and I deserved the win and Griezmann had the chance to get the second goal in but what a miss that is and a really weird way to finish it should have taken the shot in another way Sané, Lestien and I believe Halilovic are joining in yes Halilovic joining in in a center attack in midfield position there is guys getting onto the ball Halilovic does see Sané making a run Sané now on the run he's through on goal one on one against the keeper and he decides to pass it over to Griezmann and it's a goal 2-1 in the 80 second minute 
What a nice way to score. And Sané gets into the game, gets an assist. And Halilovic also a great pass from him. So the substitutions did have a big impact onto this match. And Griezmann scores two goals. Obviously the man of the match in this one. Great job from the team. But now it's time to take a look into the transfers. Right here you can actually see that every single team accepted the offer that we made and that is really difficult because now I have to decide who to get into the team. Gladbach, Wolfsburg, Inter, ZSK, Moscow, Villarreal, everyone accepted and at this point I just wanted to advance a little bit more further and we got an offer for Leroy Sané and I definitely want to loan him out because someone in the comments said hey he's not growing and that is really annoying me you will also see that in the assistant coaches showcase so I decided to go ahead and loan him out and finally a team has approached us to get him on loan and now I'm deciding which player to get into the team. The easy choice would have been Schürrle. He's German, he's a left midfielder and it would have just fitted perfectly into the team. And Shakiri is the next one that probably most of you guys wanted to see in my team. But I decided to go with Eremenko because I really want to try him out. He does have some insane stats on him and I've never on any FIFA tried out Eremenko. And now Eremenko has joined our team and take a look at his stats. He's 80 rated, normally a center attacking midfielder, but he, he does have the pace and the stamina to play on the left midfield position. And most importantly, he can take shots for days so he's kind of similar to Hulk obviously not as strong as him but he can cut inside and take long shots four star skills four star weak foot and he can play on many positions if we need him to do so so that's a great addition into the team in my opinion I really wanted to try out someone new someone I haven't seen anyone buy on their career modes so we went with Eremenko and then we had some offers for Chubomoting. obviously he's not leaving the team but Benedict Hervidis, I was thinking about it, but then I decided, no, he's my captain. I won't sell Benedict Hervidis because he's a part of this team, of this Schalke team especially. And yeah, I didn't really feel like selling him. Kolasinac though, 5 million, you can have him because he hasn't been playing at all for me. He hasn't been growing. So I decided to go ahead and offer 5 million, but they didn't accept that. So he's still in the team. Maximilian Meyer. I really want to loan him out because he isn't growing anymore. Somehow he's only growing in his mental stats. The same is going on with Johannes Geis. This guy could have been such an incredible player, but he's just not growing. And that is really disappointing. But after loaning out all these players, I decided to call them back when the transfer deadline day ended. So guys, Meyer, Leroy Sané and Salah are now back in the team. Yes, Salah has been loaned out as well. Probably a lot of you guys have already forgotten about him. But take a look at the stats of Griezmann. 24 games played, 20 goals and 14 assists. He is definitely the best striker I've used on FIFA 15. Yes, he's better than Paulsen. I said it. Oh my god. Johnny just betrayed Paulsen. Guys, he's 84 rated. He is just incredible. Just look at his stats. If I would now go ahead and say that Paulsen did have better stats for me, that would be a lie because I've never had a striker that had so many assists and on top of that so many goals. I mean Paulsen got close to it, he's probably number two for me, but Griezmann is just incredible. I, have, I honestly wasn't expecting him to be that good, but I have to say I'm really really happy that in this, in this career mode I got him into the team. Currently he's the top scorer of the league, he's only one assist away from being the top assist guy in the league as well and I need him to be the top scorer and the top assist guy in the league because I want him to be the top player of the year because I barely get that award for any of my players so I'm definitely looking forward to get him into that position. After that great win against Bayer Leverkusen, it was time to go ahead and beat a team that is a bit smaller, not as strong as Bayer Leverkusen. And it was Eremenko's first match. He's taking the free kick from 35 yards. He does have nice free kick stats on him, but this one was a bit too weak from me, so that's my fault. But Eremenko already with one chance. Now Teixeira with them skills, trying to cut inside. Eremenko gets it again. He will take the shot. 
and actually get fouled as well. I don't know why that wasn't a penalty, but the goalkeeper gets a hand to it, and that is a corner kick straight after that. Now it's our opponent in the second half, attacking with Uja on the ball. Uja gets it back, and trap for a long time. He hasn't made a mistake, but this time... The shot maybe was too powerful, I don't know, but it's already 2-0, but luckily the second goal was an offside in the 76th minute, so we still have the chance to get back into this match and try and go ahead and get the equalizer. Hulk with the skills, getting past three players, he does see his teammate, it is a shot coming in from the left hand side, but how can you not score that after Hulk did get past three players? That should have been a goal, but it didn't happen. And I'm really disappointed that we were not able to get the equalizer right there. And Cologne did have another big chance right here. But I seriously wanted that equalizer. And here's another chance. One-on-one -on -one against the keeper with Halilovic. Halilovic, no. Oh my god. So many chances that we should have scored. One-on-one -on -one against the keeper. But we were just not able to do so. 90th minute, a corner coming in. It will be landing in front of Baba, taking the shot. It lands in front of Lestien. And that's the goal. 1-1. One, one. Or no? No, it was offside. Sadly, we were offside. So many chances in this game have been wasted. Ah, we have lost against Köln. I, I just can't say anything about this loss. It is obviously my fault. Eremenko had the highest stat in this game together with Baba. So that's a nice thing to see. A nice debut for him. But he lost his first match. So he was probably disappointed about that one. Moving on though, we are playing against Kaiserslautern and this is a team that we don't have to play against at home. Eremenko though got a red card which was kind of surprising because I was never expecting him to get a red card. I was expecting one of my defenders to get a red card but not Eremenko. But we were able to win that match 3-0 with two goals from Chupomoting and Halilovic is now really happy. He has been playing a lot lately but currently we are only two points away from Borussia Dortmund in the first spot and two points away from Bayern Munich in the second spot. So this game against Borussia Dortmund was incredibly important. Once again, it's time for a derby match. We have played against them in the league already. We have played against them in the cup, I believe. And we, we were able to beat them. But in this match, we started off with Griezmann. One-on-one -on -one against the keeper. And, ah uh, oh man, that was a decent save from them. I was expecting that to go in. So I tried to power it in as much as possible. But this game was also really aggressive so Chubomo Ting just took down one of their defenders and that is something that you will see in derby matches we will have a lot of harsh tackles and Trapp making a great save right there I was expecting that one to be a goal because it was Kagawa heading it because Kagawa always scores against me or at least gets an assist Mikitarian on the ball passing it inside and it's Kagawa again this guy just won't stop taking shots at my target. He even tries to get to that header, but our goalkeeper is able to get his hands to that one. Now we have gotten a corner kick in the 51st minute, and Griezmann is taking these corner kicks as always, and that might also be the reason why he has that many assists in this season. Griezmann with the cross inside, and Matip with the header. So many people have said Matip is not good enough for your team. He's just not performing, and boys, now he has performed against Borussia Dortmund in arguably one of the most important matches of the season. But then we conceded a goal. Our defense was just not strong enough to hold off Royce from getting through there and scoring the goal. And Chupomoting straight away gets into the penalty area and gets the penalty for our team in the 61st minute. But it wasn't a penalty. What the hell, referee? That should have been a penalty, in my opinion. He did cross the line, or at least he was on the line. And that is a definite penalty not being given for Schalke, in my opinion. Let me know your opinion in the comments down below. Was that a penalty or wasn't it? Lestien with the cross and will make up for that mistake of the referee. Chupomuting scoring the goal 2-1 against Borussia Dortmund at their home ground. They will be very disappointed about this one. Two defenders couldn't hold back 
Chupo Moting from scoring that one. 76 minute. Griezmann now cutting inside, shooting, and actually getting injured. Yes, Griezmann has gotten injured. But he stood back up. Yes, he's not injured for long. Only an injury for a few seconds. And uh, Royce, man, this guy is just not stopping taking shots at the target. And Nuri Shahin getting past two defenders of Schalke who were trying to get the ball away. And it didn't work out. It just didn't work out. He crossed it in and it landed in front of Marco Royce, who was trying his very best in this match to get that goal in and because of his determination uh, Borussia Dortmund in the end do get one point out of this match but I seriously needed to win this one because it was a big chance to get into the top two and maybe if Bayern would have lost their game we would have been in the first spot already but now Bayern Munich have won their game and there's a four point gap between us and Bayern Munich who are sitting in first place again only two draws and five losses for Bayern Munich so far but in the Champions League uh, knockout stages we are playing against Barcelona yes we have gotten the toughest draw in the Champions League group stages let me know in the comments down below do you think that we will be able to get past Barcelona and also did any one of you use Eremenko? If you did, let me know how good he played for you. And if you did use him properly, let me know how to use him. Should I change his instructions or anything like that? Let me know in the comments down below. Drop a like and have a nice day.